Let's raise girls, not brides. Child marriage is a global problem. I can't express how big of a problem it is. One in three girls in underdeveloped countries, excluding China, are married off before the age of 18, and one in nine are married off before the age of 15. Just think about how high that percentage actually is. The highest levels are actually in sub-Saharan Africa, where up to 40% of girls are married before the age of 18. Now, child marriage just happens for so many different kind of reasons, but usually the girls that are getting married off are poor, less educated, and living in rural areas. And some families are marrying off girls as young as 12, just so they would have less mouths to feed. So obviously we know that child marriage is wrong on so many different levels, but I quickly wanted to break down five different ways the marriage affects the child bride. Often when a child gets married, they're pressurised and in some cases forced to get pregnant. Obviously this can harm the child both mentally and physically, where pregnancy and childbirth are the leading cause of death for girls aged 15 to 19 globally. They also stop going to school or getting any sort of formal education. Now this can lead to social isolation or stops any form of independence that they might have. And it also brings me on to my next point, which is that being a child bride limits their career and reduces their future earnings by 9%. Um, on top of this, child brides also have less decision making in the household, obviously because they're a child. Um, a lot of times they're subjected to domestic abuse just because they don't have a voice or they're not mature enough to stand for themselves or able to get themselves out of the situation. And my final point is that child brides don't get a choice in marrying who they want. Finally, I want to discuss a couple of ways to end child marriage, which requires actions on so many different levels. First of all, laws should be put into place and that prevents child marriage happening in the first place and existing laws should be enforced. Every girl should have access to education, health information and services and life skill training. Education is actually one of the best ways to prevent child marriages and that's just because when a girl's in school, a girl's being educated, she has so many more options to, that she can choose from rather than just being forced or being pressurised to get married. She's also more aware and a lot less naive because she's learned a bit about the world. More importantly, we need to help and support the girls that are already married as children. They need to be provided with the right type of reproductive health services to help them avoid early pregnancy, or the ones that are already pregnant need the right kind of support and need to have the option to return to school if they wish. By ending child marriage, it would actually help break generations of poverty since women and girls can participate more fully in society, which also leads to more vibrant economies, healthier families and smaller families as well since the girls are married at the right age and they're educated so they're more able to look after their family. When girls are allowed to be girls, everyone wins. Thanks guys so much for watching this video.